<laughs> How's it going, Autoblogger? Senior producer Chris McGraw here. And for this week's What's this show called? Behind the Wheel. There we go. For this week's Behind the Wheel, I wanted to talk to you about my favorite shoots, and one in particular. Um, I've had a lot of shoots in my seven years here, and a lot of them stand out to me, but one of my favorite days on the job actually happened as soon as I moved out to Colorado. Moved out to Colorado in late May of 2018. And shortly after that, I was on the side of Pikes Peak for the Pikes Peak Hill Climb. If you're not familiar with the Pikes Peak Hill Climb, basically it's just a race up Pikes Peak, which is a mountain that's over 14,000 feet in elevation. We call them 14ers out here in Colorado. There's over 50 of them. There's only two that you can drive to the top of, Pikes Peak and then Mount Evans. Mount Evans is actually the tallest road in North America. Pikes Peak is number two. And they have a race there every year. And in 2018, Volkswagen had their electric race car, the IDR, there. And so they invited me out to Colorado Springs for some of the pre-race laps. So they uh, get to do a couple of runs up the hill as practice. And Volkswagen was looking to not only win the race, so it's one at a time, not multiple cars at a time. It's just a time race. Volkswagen was looking not only to win the race, but to beat the overall record. Up until 2018, no one had ever made it up the mountain in less than eight minutes. So they were trying to beat this eight minute mark. A uh, few things you should know if you're not familiar with mountain driving. Naturally aspirated engines lose quite a bit of power when they're at higher altitude. There's thinner air less compression, less horsepower. Electric cars don't have that issue. Electric motors do not have that issue. And then turbo, turbo and superchargers can mitigate some of that horsepower loss, but not completely. So by bringing an electric car, Volkswagen was fairly confident in breaking that record. And at the end of this video, you will actually see the last, you know, Two thirds of this video, you'll actually see the run that they made in 2018. Uh, first, before I go on, just want to tell you: hit that subscribe button, hit that like button if you like this video. If you don't comment, why not? Why didn't you like this video? And also, ring that bell. That'll get you notifications every time we upload a new video. Uh, Mondays right now, that's our behind the wheel day. Uh, we don't have behind the wheel if we have a video review that week. So you'll either get a car review or a behind the wheel during any week. Tuesdays, Thursdays are our video game content days. We stream those live on YouTube, live on Twitch. We have POV videos, which is none of this talking, just driving cars from our point of view. We've got a camera strapped to our head and we drive different cars. That's on Wednesday. And then our podcast is on Fridays. So check all that stuff out on YouTube, ring that bell, and we'll let you know when new stuff comes out. So back to the story. Drove down to Colorado Springs. We were up on the mountain at 2 a.m. We had to get our spots on the mountain before they started at sunrise. So woke up super early. And uh, here are some of the shots from the testing. It may look like some of these cars are going slow. Remember, that's because of the compression in the engines for naturally aspirated engines.
the reason this is my favorite day, it really combined two of my favorite things, getting out into the mountains, which is why I moved out to Colorado in the first place, and cars and racing. It's a very unique uh, race. People come from all over the world. So check it out. I hope you guys like these clips. And he's off. And there he goes. Roman Dumas. <laughs> Holy yes. smokes. <laughs> that is one extremely fast car. I mean, it was yes. about a second from Holy the time moly. it left the starting line until the time it was out of sight. Yeah, Unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know if the helicopter will be able to keep up with this guy. Holy smokes. And Roman Dumas is coming into view. He is coming. Can you see him right there, Dave? Just came around. He came corner. around the corner and is now headed into the Glen Cove. There's a little dog leg yep. that goes to the right and then back to the left. Then they move everybody to the inside lane through the Glen Cove brake check area. He has gone through that. Here's we'll see right. him just above. There he there is, he is right just there. above Glen Cove, going into the Cove Creek area. There's only a handful of spectators in, in Cove Creek, and boy, they're getting a view right now. And here Roman he comes. Roman Dumas yep. through the Cove Creek area. He will be heading on up toward the Elk Park area. He is really flying, using all of that road. The helicopter straight below us at 16 miles. And everybody at 16 mile is standing on there their feet, waiting for for Roman Dumas. The crowd is standing on its feet. This is some of the most exciting, some of the most exciting racing you will see anywhere. He is now up the long straightaway. This will take us into the horseshoe, below 16 mile. This is a, an area officially called the W's. Here he comes through the horseshoe.
And here you guys come. Ooh. Ramon Dumas is coming. He is heading straight towards 16 Mile. Couple more corners to come. The helicopter is hovering right over in his VW IDR Pikes Peak. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. And we are here to, to call the action for you. Roman Dumont, number 94. This is that specially prepared Volkswagen for Pikes Peak. Get there he goes. You hear practically nothing, nothing as it goes by. That is an unbelievable run. What did we have for time to hear? You know, Renee? you guys, this is, of course, a completely unofficial time. So this is unofficial, but we had it unofficial. at 5.52, 5 5.52 yeah. 5 to, to, to 16 miles. Again, a completely unofficial time. We were just following it on the uh, stopwatch. 136 miles an hour through the H&H &H tire radar gun at the picnic ground uh, through here. Uh, in, in five minutes and 50 seconds unofficially. So it could be, it could be a record run. It'll depend. There's a couple of miles between us and the summit of Pikes Peak. This is 16 mile. The summit's about 18 and a half, 19 when you get there. And, uh, and, and so there's a couple of miles. There's another long straightaway up there and a couple of nasty turns. Heisey's turn just below the summit and is of course we're hoping memorable. That He broke the eight-minute mark. Yeah. Volkswagen came here to set the record, and they did it, and they smashed it.